We've been concentrating on drainage on both sides of the river, so we've got squads working on Bank Street, uh, Douglas Row and Huntley Street, uh, installing the deeper drainage. Piling works on site are now complete, that's the concrete piles and the sheet piles. Uh, the sheet piles are on Bank Street, uh, they have now been completed, the, now that the rock armour has been removed and we're now continuing with the reinforced concrete wall on top of the sheet piles uh, which will form the permanent barrier against the water. The sandstone cladding then, as you can see here, is following along and it's going to be the full length of both sides of the river. So there's a sandstone on this side. On the front of the river there'll be a, a rail for maintenance workers to clip onto uh, for cutting grass and maintenance on the riverbank. Afterwards there'll then be a sandstone cope on top with a handrail uh, incorporated into it. At the trees along Douglas Row and on Huntley Street, we have erected tree support uh, measures. Uh, this is a this is a timber shutter uh, which will which is fixed onto the seat piles at each side of the tree and will support the tree whilst we've exposed the roots. Bank Street has remained closed for a few months uh, since February due to the the Keswick Bridge works ongoing, it was supposed to reopen, but because of the delays due to the, the rock armour, it's remained closed and now we're back on schedule with the works. It will remain closed for another few months, but should reopen uh, for the summer. Phase two works will be starting at the end of this month. Uh, McLaughlin and Harvey have won the contract for that phase. And that'll be starting in a month and will continue till the end of March 2015, when all of the flood works schemes should be completed.